A lot of users seem to face this issue on the uh, GTA 5 online and the error message looks like this which says your save data could not be downloaded from Rockstar Cloud servers at this time. Please try again later returning to the main menu. So a lot of users especially PS5 and PC users face this issue a lot. So there is a fix for this problem but unless their servers are down but first ensure that their servers are good you can just go to this website which the link will be available in the description and ensure that the Grand Theft Auto online servers are well good. As you can see here, just make sure that it's green. As of now, their servers are working fine. So if they are down, you'll also be facing this issue a lot. So if their servers are good and you're still facing this issue, then there is a fix for this. Just follow these steps very carefully. Now we'll begin for PC users. So we have for PC users and PS5 console users. So just let's start with for PC users. Now for PC users, you can fix this issue by deleting the PC settings.bin file. So you can fi fix this problem by deleting the PC settings.bin file. And this file can be located on this directory, which is through documents, Rockstar Games, and then GTA 5, and then profile. So on this location here, you'll find the PC settings.bin. So just go to your documents on PC, then select Rockstar Games, and then select GTA 5, and then select profile file. After opening the profile file, you will find this PC settings.bin. So what you need to do, just delete this PC settings.bin. After deleting it, then try to relaunch the game and your issue will be resolved. You can keep a backup of the PC settings.bin file when the issue arises. Instead of starting from scratch and reconfiguring all your settings, you can simply replace the corrupted PC settings bin file with your backup. So the only way you can fix this issue is by deleting the PC settings.bin. In the profile directory located in documents folder rockstar games then gta5 and then the profile you'll find this pc settings dot bin so if you've done so on your pc you can also try this for ps5 so if you are facing this issue on your ps5 now let's proceed with the following step now for ps5 console users the fix that works for most people is go to settings then go to save the data Go to settings and then save data and then delete the save data from your console. Don't reinstall it from settings but instead just load it into the game and let the launcher update your save the data. It comes from a conflict on your console and the Rockstar game servers. So this should be fixed in most cases. Here's how to do it step by step. So go to your PS5 settings. From the PS5 home screen navigate to settings which is the gear icon. Select the save the data and game or app settings. In the settings menu, scroll down and select this option. So select save data and game or app settings. Now choose choose save the data PS5 or save the data PS4 if applicable. Depending on whether you are playing it on the PS5 or PS4 version of GTA Online, select the appropriate option. So select save the data for PS5 or PS4 depending on your appropriate. Now delete the save the data for the GTA Online. Find the Grand Theft Auto 5 in the list of saved data. Select the saved data and delete it from your console only. Do not, it, do not delete it from the cloud storage if you have that enabled. So select the saved data and delete it from your console only. After deleting the saved data from your console, now launch GTA Online. When you start the game, it will automatically fetch the updated saved data from the Rockstar server. So, when you start the game, it will automatically fetch the updated saved data from Rockstar servers. This method ensures that any corrupted or conflicting local save data is removed and replaced with, with fresh data from the game servers. So this is how to fix this issue. So just make sure the fix that works for most people on PS5, you just go to settings, then select save the data, then delete the saved data from your console. Don't reinstall it from settings, but instead, just load it onto the game and let the launcher update your saved data. It comes from a conflict of your console and the Roku Star game servers. So just make sure to follow these steps very carefully and you'll be able to fix this issue.